All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new video. My phone's kind of fucked up, so the audio is out of out of whack, but it is what it is. I've received quite a few questions from people about the ginseng. I've talked about ginseng here on this channel. I've talked about it over on Instagram. I've talked about it on BitChute, yada, 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 on Rumble. People want to know how to start taking ginseng which is undeniably my favorite herb, hands down. It's a root, but it is a, it is a, a, a herb, but you, when you consume it, you're consuming the root. So the easiest way, let's just get right into it. The easiest way to begin experiencing the benefits of ginseng is to start taking an extract. Now, a lot of these extracts have too much alcohol in them and you want something, you don't want to be consuming uh, alcohol every day you guys you just don't so there's a handful of different ginseng extracts on the market most of them are red panax ginseng red panax ginseng also known as asian ginseng is much different than american ginseng which is largely grown in wisconsin doesn't just grow there but a lot of it's cultivated in wisconsin american ginseng is known as panax quinquifolius and compared to Asian ginseng, also known as Panax ginseng, it has a completely different method of action and it has a completely different effect on the human being, mentally and physically. Panax ginseng, aka Asian ginseng, is very pro-energy. It gives you energy, it gives you vitality, it gives you vigor. It's very yang, it's assertive, and it produces heat in the body and it moves heat. Now, some people might say, oh, well, why would you want heat in your body? Isn't that inflammatory? That's not the type of heat that I'm referring to. I'm talking about yang energy from a traditional Chinese pers medicine perspective. I could go on and on and on about that and how the role of heat in the body from the, the perspective of traditional Chinese medicine is actually a very beneficial thing. Uh, it can be. For some people, they need actually more cooling energy, and that's where you know, the difference between Panax ginseng, Asian ginseng, and American ginseng lies. American ginseng is very cooling, it's very yin, it's receptive. Whereas again, Asian ginseng is very assertive, it's yang, it gives energy. This, this root is magical, you guys. And as I was saying earlier, most of the extracts that you're going to find on the market when it comes to ginseng are Panax ginseng. And it's often red ginseng, red Panax ginseng, and that red ginseng is describing how it's, how it's, how would I explain this? There's a, there's a handful of different ways that you can cure ginseng. For instance, you can just take the root out of the ground and dry it. That's considered white ginseng. Red ginseng is ginseng that's been preserved a certain way that enhances certain qualities of the ginseng. So let me just get right to the point. My favorite ginseng is red Panax ginseng. I'm not a huge fan of white ginseng. I find that it doesn't really work all that well. I can't notice the effects from white ginseng that I do from red ginseng. There's also black ginseng, and I'll talk more about that in the near future. There's a handful of different ways that this amazing root has been uh, preserved and cultivated and extracted. But I'm going to focus now on red Panax Asian ginseng. How to start taking it? Well, as I said earlier, you want an extract, but in my opinion, you don't want to be consuming an extract that has a ton of alcohol in it. And that's where Imperial Elixir's ginseng root extract, their red Chinese ginseng, comes into play here. This is the best, in my opinion, within the economical extracts of ginseng range, if you will. Because again, you can spend hundreds, thousands of dollars actually on certain types of ginseng. But we're focusing now on budget-friendly ginseng, right? Imperial Elixir has a box, a blue box of Chinese red ginseng that you can get on iHerb for about six bucks. It's a 10-day supply. I don't think they sell the 30-day supply. They might, but you can get this. Bo they, you can get boxes of this at health food stores if they carry it, usually in 10, uh, 10 packs or 30 packs. All you need is one a day. It's 1,200 milligrams of extract. Some people go beyond that. And they take upwards of 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams of extract. I personally find that's a little overkill. I find that one vial 
glass vial of Imperial Elixir Red Panax Ginseng gets the job done and it does it well. It's got a little bit of honey in it. It's got minimal alcohol, if any. I, I think last time I checked, there's just a tiny little bit of alcohol as a preservative, but it's a negligible amount. There's distilled water in that formula as well, if my memory suit, suits me well. Um, this, is the, this is how you start. Just start taking a quality, low alcohol extract, red ginseng, you know, <laughs> can't even speak today. Jesus Christ. I've put links in the description box below. I've made it simple. Just click it, buy it, consume it. I like to take mine on an empty stomach with my morning coffee. And this really does get the motor humming, you guys. You're gonna notice an effect from this. And it usually takes about three days, but more often than not, people experience some degree of cognitive benefit and physical increase of vigor within the first 30 minutes of consuming their first vial. Again, this extract comes in a little glass bo bottle and they're airtight, they're, they're sealed, and they, the boxes come with these little plastic straws. So what you do is you take your vial out, you pop the plastic top off, you take one of the straws, the sharp end, puncture it through a little rubber ring or seal, and then you drink the extract. It's that simple. And I myself, I don't just consume this one extract. I experiment with a, a ton of different types of ginseng, but the Imperial Elixir right now is my favorite. And it's the one that I suggest to anyone who wants to get into ginseng and start experiencing the benefits that come from this amazing heaven root, right? I also consume Korean red ginseng, heaven grade ginseng, dried roots, that aren't extracted and I'll boil those for two to six hours. I'll make soup out of these. I'll make samgutan, which is a chicken based soup with ginseng in it. It's the Asian equivalent of chicken noodle soup for when you get sick. Samgutan is incredible. So I like to consume the ginseng root without it being extracted, but I also like consuming the extract. So I'm constantly experimenting with different forms of this ginseng. I buy wild ginseng, which is in, can be very expensive, but more often than not, I'm consuming what's known as tame ginseng, which is intentionally cultivated ginseng that is not wild. There are still a ton of benefits from tame ginseng, although the real magic of ginseng is from wild ginseng, you guys. It's harder to find wild Asian ginseng than it is American ginseng. It's actually quite easy to find wild American ginseng. There's multiple reputable uh, vendors across the web. You can even get good quality wild American ginseng off of eBay. And you can start consuming this by cooking it down. You can extract it with alcohol. There's a ton of different ways to start pulling the ginsenicides and the beneficial constituents out of ginseng. Whether you want to extract it uh, to intentionally pull those alkaloids, etc., out or just consume it raw by cooking it down, that's up to you. I like to do it all. So, do I consume American ginseng from time to time? Yes, but 99% of the time I'm just consuming red Panax Asian ginseng. This stuff works wonders on things such as erectile dysfunction, poor blood flow, it's good for people with anemia, <clears throat> it's good for any form of mental weakness, it's good for emotional turmoil, times of deep stress. Ginseng can really help give you an extra boost, and since we're all under an attack here in this New World Order hedge maze prison system, you do indeed need stuff like this to fortify your health shield, folks. Don't fool yourself. We are under an attack from every front. We got wireless pollution, radiation, electromagnetics. We've got a myriad of toxic chemicals, hormone disruptors, etc. in the tap water. We are not grounded anymore as a culture. People are getting hit with the Wi-Fi. I mean, Jesus Christ. You go down the street any in any direction in any major city and you're going to find folks you're gonna find a multitude of different junk food outlets. They're hitting us hard, right? They're hitting us fucking hard. It's embarrassing, but ginseng is a powerful tool that can really help you here in this underworld matrix grid. 
I've used it for years and I've found that the benefits of ginseng come over a period of time. Now, a lot of people will say, a lot of people online will say, oh, you shouldn't take this every day. But why? Because you read that online on some article that you found? No, if you read any old form of literature about ginseng from antiquity, it's clearly stated that the benefits of this root come from consistent use over a period of years. This is known as the root of immortality for a reason, folks. It's because it helps preserve your DNA, it helps enhance the health of your telomeres, it helps clean out the cells, it feeds your cells, it fortifies your spirit, and it uplifts your spirit. This is a very pro-strengthening root. I mean, guys, in our not-so-distant past, people would go to war over ginseng. Emperors, kings, etc. would send people out to find what's known as the man root. These, root, these ginseng roots that grew wild, that looked like, like human beings. They actually believed, have you guys ever seen a man root? I'm not going to show one on the screen right now because I don't want to have to edit this video. Go on to Google or DuckDuckGo preferably and type in ginseng man root. Emperors, kings, etc., they would send people out, ginseng hunters, to find what's known as the man root, to bring back to the emperor. Because they believed that the closer the root looked to a man, the more it would confer its benefits. You should also read a book called Tales of the Ginseng, about all of the myths and legends about ginseng and the ginseng girl, and the 12 heaven-piercing pins. This is fascinating information, you guys. I hate leaf blowers. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I fucking hate all the noise here in the Matrix. This is a sick world, and we need tools in a sick world, right? We need medicinal tools. Ginseng being one of many that can be used. You can also look at, if, you know, if you, a lot of people, when they start taking red ginseng, they can't handle the amount of energy that it gives them. It makes them feel restless and irritable and it gives them a little bit of anger. If that's the case, lower your dosage and maybe back off of an extract uh, and take something like, instead of the Imperial Elixir extract of ginseng that has 1200 milligrams, use a... Prince of Peace style, that's a brand, um, ginseng extract, and they have one that has 400 milligrams of extract. Lower your dose. Or just take ginseng that hasn't been extracted and cook it on the stove. I'll show you guys in the future how to cook ginseng down properly because it does need to be cooked properly. Um, alternatively, you could use something like gynostemma, which interestingly enough has a handful of constituents in it that are similar to ginseng. The uh, Gynostemma pentaphylum, known as Jaugalon, is known as uh, poor man's ginseng because it contains many of ginseng's beneficial constituents at a fraction of the cost. But in my opinion, you guys, it's nowhere near as powerful as ginseng. My favorite herb used to be Shizandra, Shizandra berries, until I got really into ginseng. And I tested ginseng for over a year before I changed my mind about Shizandra. I still love Shizandra. In fact, if you take it properly with ginseng, it is the combo. It is the heaven combo, you guys. This is such a powerful duo of adaptogens. I've taken this da almost daily. I can't say daily because there were times where I'd for either forget to take it or I ran out. But I've taken this long enough, you guys, that it's improved the quality of my skin. I'm able to get a fraction of the, the uh, I'm able to get a fraction of the amount of sleep that I technically need by taking ginseng and I can still perform. I'm still running constantly, running 8 10 mile runs, 5k's every other day. I'm actually in the process right now of running a 5k every day. The stuff works great. You know, there's a reason why energy drinks often put ginseng in in their formulas, but you don't need that crap, that carbonated crap with phosphoric acid, also known as chrome cleaner and all the synthetics in it. You just need a good quality adaptogenic herb like ginseng. So 
Imperial Elixir, you guys. I put links in the description box below. Get it off of iHerb. You can get it off of Amazon as well. This is one of the products that I do say, go ahead and get it off of Amazon if you want to get it because it would be really hard to fake uh, extract of ginseng that come in these little glass vials. And normally I don't suggest people buy stuff off of Amazon in, in the form of supplements because there have, I've myself bought bottles of supplements from Amazon that had the wrong uh, QR codes on them, had the wrong barcodes. They were fraudulent. Had varying degrees of powder in the supplements that I've bought. So what I like to, when I buy supplements, I always see if I can get them off of iHerb first because they're the best. They really are. It's a reputable source to get your stuff without having to worry about some third party seller potentially creating some fake product and selling it to you. So again, that concludes my ginseng rant. Take it every day, watch what happens. It's incredible.